you're a home buyer, somebody or a young person looking to buy a home, you need a bit of a reset. There, there is a possibility on the other side of this that that uh, inflation could be could actually be quite low. Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Today's video is going to be absolutely bonkers, and I'm on day five of my 16-day trip, traveling the nation, reporting on new construction. Right now, you guys, I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah, standing in front of a giant master plan community, as you can see behind me, called wildflower the reason i came here is is i wanted to show you guys kind of a newer community it's not it, there's a lot more construction that needs to happen and it's extremely extremely big so it's going to be really cool to watch what happens with wildflower before i really dig into the boots on the ground portion of this video i want to go back to the studio and show you guys all of the price cuts that are happening in this general area this is salt lake city and first i wanted to show you approximately or at least listed on new home source is showing 1800 brand new homes in salt lake city now i want to point out that most of this is in south salt lake city predominantly this video is going to be taking place in south salt lake city now as far as communities there's approximately 260 different communities so there is a lot of competition and a lot of people that are building right on top of each other now when i zoom into primarily the saratoga springs area which is going to be the first portion of this video let me show you First of all, approximately that there's 80 different communities. You can see that right here. Now the amount of homes are approximately 709 homes. And remember this is under reported. You see there's a first price cut right here of $89,000. But when I start hitting the properties directly, you can see here that there's a price cut of $135,000 in Saratoga Springs, bringing the property all the way down to 629,000. There's another really good one right here with a price cut of $82,000. You can see that here in Saratoga Springs. Another massive price cut of $102,000, dropping this property all the way down to $774,000. Again, all of this is underreported. Another price cut of $50,000 right here, bringing this property down to $699,000. You can see another great price cut of $64,000, bringing this property $10 below $800,000. Now, when I go back to our map here and I zoom back out, I'm also gonna go north of Saratoga Springs to this area right here, which is basically South Jordan, West Jordan, and a little bit in the Magna area. Now you're gonna find a lot of price cuts in the Magna area. I didn't have time to cover that too much. You can see I'm circling my mouse around Magna, but again, primarily I'm gonna be in West Jordan and South Jordan, this whole area right here. Now, just in this area, it's showing 670 homes, ton of homes, it's probably double that, with the total communities sitting at 100 communities. You can see multiple different floor plans and price points and square footages and all kinds of stuff like that. But when we target price cuts, here's what we find. Bit higher price point in the West Jordan area and South Jordan area, but here's a listing that is price cut of $100,000. Here's another price cut in South Jordan of $31,000, bringing this property slightly below $500,000. Another price cut of $30,000, putting this property down to $639,000 again in West Jordan with some decent price cuts in Magna at $32,000, bringing this property way down actually under the median sitting at $355,000. So the more affordable housing is going to be in the Magna area. Other price cut right here at $32,000, again, same area, DR Horton, Little Valley Gateway, a lot of stuff going on in the Salt Lake City area. You can come back to this website, play with this, there's all kinds of new construction. We had that community you know that little community down there when you drive up the road a little bit in wildflower and i would suggest if you guys live here come here and see what they're doing when you drive up a little bit you start to see all of the additional building and look at the park guys they, they can't even finish the park look at this do you see that hopefully they don't run out of money because who wants to live next to a retention pond that's empty Look at this. And all behind me, you guys, again, come here. They're building all up on this hill. Go talk to Lennar. They're doing price cuts. There's a hill up there. There's so much building here down in the distance. I mean, this is insane. As a homeowner, this is not what I want to see. I don't want to see a partially completed park like this. This is only the tip of the iceberg. What I really want you guys to understand about Wildflower is there's many big communities just like this that had planned to be giant 
massively successful. But being that we are in the front end of the recession and the quantitative tightening and specifically, most important thing, affordability. If the average person can't even come close to affording a house, then I believe communities just like this are gonna die unless they start dropping the prices of houses, making them more affordable. We already know these builders, some of them are offering five, six percent interest rates, and they're still not holding the value. What does that tell us? The housing market is incredibly toxic, and I love following new construction because existing homes follow new construction. That's how this works, you guys. But again, if you live here, I want you to come to Wildflower, and I want you to go up this hill and see what's really going on. Don't just look at that first community down there that's sold. They have all these other massive plants here that who knows if they're going to have money to finish it, and who knows how long that's going to take. I'm going to show you guys these huge huge apartments because if you thought that you wanted to purchase over here and rent, first of all, it's not going to cash flow, but also you have enormous competition when it comes to long-term rentals. I wanted to take you to the construction part of the Wildflower apartment. This is just so amazing to me how they do these developments. I mean, they follow each other. They start putting factories, apartments, which is great. We need it. We need more inventory. I'm not saying that, but what do you think is going to happen first? Are consumers going to double their purchasing power or are prices going to go down because they have to sell but look at this guys I mean all of this this is nice we want this I'm not saying we don't want this we do want it we just need prices to be more affordable to the average American not just people in the top 10% which is what you see here so it'll be very interesting what I'll do now is, is I'm gonna try to find another section of Salt Lake City that's a little bit more affordable because this is a little expensive literally if you make the average income here in Salt Lake City you can't look at any of this unfortunately and that's the problem as I walk this community I want to remind everyone the more subdivisions have spec homes the more likely it is that we're gonna get a better deal so it's important to come out here to places like this to see what's actually going on and this is a subdivision and this is really why I'm highlighting it with an overwhelming amount it's not even practical to me of spec houses look at um, as I'm walking here holy moly and these no yards here not like Texas at all it looks like they have basements take a look behind me see that spec houses why so many spec houses right if buying demand is so hot why do we have so many houses still that need to be sold that are completed? So I'm gonna keep walking up here, guys. Down this other street over here, again, ton of stuff. This house to the right of me is sold, okay? And someone's living there. And then when we pan, look at that. It's a construction zone. Amazing, absolutely amazing. You definitely do not wanna overpay because if they start dropping prices to be able to move these units, what could potentially happen is if you did purchase and you didn't negotiate, you didn't get a great price, you just lost your equity, you lost the value in your house. And that's really why you can't use your emotion. If we didn't have QT right now, if the PE ratio wasn't 7.4, if the payment to income ratio wasn't 40% of your income paying off your mortgage, then maybe we wouldn't have to worry. All the quantitative tightening and the warnings and the yield curve inversions and the, and the again, the affordability, you got to be cautious. I don't think I've been to a city where the fundamentals have been so out of whack like it is here in Salt Lake City. I've seen more spec homes other places. I've seen more apartment building in other places. But what I have not seen is, you know, really the level of unaffordability here. The level of unaffordability is amazing. And look at, you know, they're not stopping. If there is a slowdown, if the slowdown continues with new construction, all these people aren't gonna have a job. The economy is not going to do great. The housing market is being propped up by many things. And by the housing market being propped up, it's also propping up the economy. And what that does, it kicks the can down the road. And that's not good because the more can kicking down the road, the bigger the pop will be. A lot of what I just passed behind me is not being reported. It's not being reported on, on the data sites. It's, it's absolutely wild. The only way you could really figure it out is by coming here. Now look at what they did here. So all those ones behind me look sold, okay? So they got one street, one section sold, but again, you guys saw the drone footage. I mean, this is cr like, like normally guys, they sell and then build, sell and then build. They don't just keep building and keep building and keep building. So. It just doesn't make sense. That's costing this builder money. And the more that it sits there like that, the more money it's gonna cost the builder. And again, the more likely it will be that they drop 
prices. I took you guys right down the road from where I was just at to a subdivision called Teton Ranch. And I wanted to show you guys this because this is way, these are way bigger, these are way nicer than when I was just at. And basically you guys, no one can escape the unaffordability. No one can escape the fact that there is hyper supply building in new construction and the hyper supply will put the builders in enough turmoil to lower prices. And if you recently bought and you weren't careful, you could be trapped in a situation to where you can't sell or even refinance. Remember all the things and all the times we've heard, marry the house, date the rate? Well, you can't do that. And even if you can, it's not a good idea to just refinance. I mean, look at the size of these houses. This is nice. You know, if I was in this area, I had a buy right now and I wanted a great deal. These are, these are some of the communities that I would be shopping in and I'd be willing and dealing and grinding down the builders. But also again, you know, you're gonna wanna do inspections. Everywhere I'm looking, there's new subdivisions everywhere. The amount of building in this section of Salt Lake City is incredible, absolutely incredible. I, you know, I, we didn't see it the, the first place we stopped at, but we certainly see it here. Probably gonna show you guys just one more area and then we'll wrap this video up. I just went right down the street to the South Jordan area and I'm in a place right now where, you know, I'm starting to understand why I have to do price cuts. There's hyper supply of apartments. Behind me are apartments being built on top of each other, on top of each other, and on top of each other. There's multiple, and the drone will do a better job at this, guys, but look at this. Let me pan. Look at how many different apartment complexes there are right now offering incentives to rent. And these are brand new, keep in mind. And again, not only do these ones that you can see all around behind me need to be, you know, rented out, like, there's probably six or seven apartment buildings over there. I am so glad I came here to do the boots on the ground. I could not, if I would have stayed in my office and looked at the data, I would not have understood what was going on here, the severity of what was going on here. They are gambling, you guys, and they are, they are gambling hard. And if they don't win, you and I pay, right? Looking at the sheer amount of apartments and the fact that they're offering deals and not fully rented out, would not make me want to be a landlord here, to be quite frank. I mean, I don't get it. But again, hopefully I'll throw that drone up and it'll catch your, you know, it'll give you guys a bigger picture of how many rental units I'm surrounded by. I mean, it's wall to wall, elbow to elbow rental units right now. Absolutely. And in front of me as well, let me turn again. Look at, look at, see? There's a whole nother ecosystem of apartments, brand new. Again, brand new, this is the South Jordan area a little bit down the street from where I was at, being built. There's gonna be a meltdown here. If anything happens in the economy, we go into recession, unemployment's unhinged, places like this are gonna pay. So again, if you're out there investing in real estate, not only do I wish you luck, what I'm saying is, make sure if you are buying right now, you buy the right house. Now in conclusion, Salt Lake City, Utah is in big, trouble. And don't get me wrong, Salt Lake City is one of the most beautiful places that I've ever visited. Really quite breathtaking pretty much at every turn. But unfortunately, it's also the metro area that is the biggest out of whack as far as fundamentals. And I believe as a result of the hyper supply of new construction and the fact that they built those homes so far away from the normal household being able to afford it, I really quite frankly think that Salt Lake City, Utah, especially where I visited down south, is going to be some of the areas that experience the biggest price declines. And honestly, guys, I only had time to cover a part of the South. If I had another two, three days, I could have showed you guys so much more. But the prices are being cut like crazy, not just with new homes, but also existing homes. And obviously, one of the reasons why existing homes are cutting the prices is because of the hyper supply of inventory for new homes spreading there. So again, if you're in this area, I believe that as more time goes on, as we get into 2024 and into 2025, you're gonna be able to find some of the best opportunities to purchase a home in some of the areas that I covered in Salt Lake City, Utah. Now, other than that, guys, again, please like the video, shoot me some intel below if I miss something or if you wanna add something. And other than that, guys, if you're out there investing in real estate, you know I wish you luck and I hope you win.